Businesses face risks every day. It's a part of getting it done. Risk should be managed because if not, the business will be exposed to threats. And you don't want that to happen. Managing risk is critical and it starts with a process called risk assessment. Successful cyber risk assessment process should align with your business's cybersecurity goals and help you cost effectively reduce cyber risk on both operations on board and ashore. Here are the six steps of the maritime cyber risk assessment process. Welcome to FEMFI TV, Paris Maritime's YouTube channel, where existing and future maritime professionals come to get informed and inspired. Please hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss out on our latest contents. Step number one, develop an operational framework. Every organization can undergo risk assessment. But no organization can perform risk assessment in everything. That's just not realistic, and not to mention expensive. So the first step is to develop an operational framework that fits the scope, nature, and complexity of the organization. The following activities are necessary in developing an operational framework and could also serve as pre-assessment checklist. 1. Map the ship's key operational IT and OT systems. 2. Identify the suppliers of those IT and OT systems and establish good working relationships with them. 3. Review the manuals of the equipment that make up those key operational IT and OT systems, especially their network architecture and interconnectivity. 4. Establish contractual requirements and obligations for the ship's owner and operator with regards to the maintenance of the key operational IT and OT systems. Step number 2. Identify vulnerabilities. It stands to reason that standalone systems are less vulnerable to external cyber threats than systems attached to open networks or those connected directly to the internet. It is essential to assess close connections between onboard systems and the internet, for these connections will be the pathway for cyber attacks. Vulnerable systems include core IT systems, back-end and administrative systems, communication systems, cargo management systems, access control systems, bridge systems, propulsion and machinery systems, power control systems, and passenger servicing and passenger management systems. In this step, it is also important not to overlook the human element. Poor staff training and lack of procedural awareness leaves individuals open for cyber threats like phishing, in social engineering. Step 3. Identify threats. There are some basic cyber threats that are going to be present in every cyber risk assessment process. However, depending again on the scope, nature, and complexity of the organization, additional threats could be included. 1. Unauthorized access to systems either maliciously or accidentally. This could be from a targeted cyber attack, malware infection, or an internal threat such as a disgruntled crew member or employee. 2. Misuse of access or privilege by an unauthorized user. This could be the result of an 
unapproved use of sensitive shipping-related information or modifications made to IT systems without approval. 3. Data leakage or unintentional exposure of information. This includes permitting the use of unencrypted removable media without restriction, transmitting sensitive shipping-related information over unsecured channels, or accidentally sending sensitive information to the wrong recipient. 4. Loss of data. This can be the result of poor redundancy and backup processes. And 5. Disruption of onboard operations due to the compromised equipment's malfunctioning. Step 4. Impact Assessment Factoring in how you map the onboard IT and OT system, determine the impact to your organization if a threat was exercised based in the CIA Triad Cybersecurity Model. CIA stands for Confidentiality, Integrity, and Availability. Common impact ratings are 1. Low Loss of CIA is expected to have minimal adverse effect on organization's assets and would incur minimal to no financial loss. Number 2. Moderate Loss of CIA is expected to have a substantial adverse effect on organization's assets, will significantly reduce effectiveness of onboard operations, and would incur significant financial loss. And 3. High Loss of CIA will have severe and catastrophic adverse effect on organization's assets, will cause major degradation to onboard operations, would incur major financial loss, and would result to either major injury or loss of life. Step 5. Third-Party Risk Assessment We may not always see what an expert eye can see, so this step is very important. After self-assessment, it is best to let a well-respected third-party cybersecurity auditor to take a look at the organization's cybersecurity efforts for some much-needed scrutinization. Third-party cybersecurity auditors are capable of a highly technical procedure called penetration testing. Penetration tests are simulated cyber attacks against our IT and OT systems to check for exploitable vulnerabilities. Such tests can identify if our cyber defense efforts are up to their tasks in keeping us resilient in the midst of a real-life cyber attack. And last is Step 6, Review and Reporting. Following Cyber Risk Assessment Steps 1 to 5, recommended technical and procedural corrective actions should be identified for each vulnerability in the final report. Ideally, the final report should include the following. An executive summary. This is a high-level summary of the overall security profile of the assessed entity. A list of technical findings. This is a detailed tabular breakdown of all discovered vulnerabilities with their probability of exploitation, their impact rating, and their appropriate technical or procedural fix. A list of prioritized action. This reflects action steps that should be prioritized based on effectiveness in patching up a vulnerability, applicability to existing systems, and of course costs. Supplementary data. This is a list of all key findings as well as comprehensive analysis of every technical flaw. And appendices. This is a detailed list of all activities and tools used for the cyber risk assessment procedures. So there you have it, the six steps of maritime cyber risk assessment. That ends this lecture video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more contents like this. We are Far East Maritime Training Center. 
your one-stop shop for all your maritime training needs. Some of our courses are available online. For the complete list, please visit our Facebook page. PM is always the key. We hope to see you on our next lecture video. Thank you for watching. God bless and more power to the maritime industry.